Hello, 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 and happy Sunday to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amun-Ra coming to you with your general reading. This message is timeless. So whenever you see this video is when you're supposed to see this video. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get into your general reading. Let's get into your general reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment to not only this channel, but also the knowledge channel. That link is below. Let's get into it, Sagittarius. Let's get into it. All right, sunnier days are ahead. I see somebody removing all that stale energy from past snakes, interacting with snakes and people trying to harm you. And I see you moving forward in a very positive, upbeat light. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the King of Wands. We also have the Five of Wands, very nice. We also have the Seven of Cups. We also have the Sun card. Yes. Okay. You're ready for this transition. And we also have the five of swords. Okay. I see somebody taking their power back because you're getting as far away from the emotion of dealing with a snake that you've come out of a relationship with, right? So snake energy also represents death, rebirth, but it also represents a Kundalini experience. So had you not had the depth of emotions, because somebody saw something, remember you all are the IC sign, the I and then S-E-E, -E, like sight. You have the gift of sight. You saw this snake. If you really go back in hindsight, you saw something in their energy that was going to bite you, right? So we're not calling the person a snake. We're talking about the energy. Um, you saw this energy slithering towards you, right? Something gave you a red flag, like, ah, oh, no. Nah. But you, again, moving forward... What I'm seeing here in your cards, <clears throat> excuse me, Sagittarius, what I'm seeing here in your cards is that part of the hostility and frustration and anger that you have is partially with yourself. I saw it. Why didn't I do something ahead of time? Why didn't I take this sword and kill the snake before I even let it get into my life until I let it in, and before I let it get to my heart, before I started developing emotions for this thing? Why didn't I kill it before I got to it? All right. So what I'm seeing for somebody is that because you felt sorry for it, you felt sorry for the energy because their family was a mess. You just saw something different. I'm telling you, I need y'all to pay attention when y'all meet somebody, when you meet somebody, because no matter how many, no matter how much you were trying to warm up to this energy, they burned you every single time. But, but also some of you all have come from generational traumas yourselves and you didn't see it at first or you thought you didn't see it but now that you're out of this situation you're learning how to trust your intuition again see how this person is like biting their index finger like almost like i knew it was something like, why didn't i pay attention to that yeah because somebody came out of a very dysfunctional family right and truth be told everybody's family is dysfunctional um but again, you're starting to pay attention to your gift of sight, right? There's this fire inside of you. Like you, somebody is ready to just like somebody has a lion in them. So you may have Leo in your chart. And then we have the sun card too. But, we, but again, you could have been burned by a Leo or somebody who has Leo in their chart. And emotionally, it could have caused you to just feel like, wow, you know, really? Was it that? Did you really have to bite me that hard, snake? But again, you moving on from that energy, the emotions, the depth of the emotions about it is going to make more room for money. Yeah. The beautiful thing about um, us entering, getting ready to enter into a new cycle is that you get a chance to shed the skin of, like a snake, you get a chance to shed the skin of the old life and ready to step into the new one. For somebody, somebody's nervous about a new beginning, a fresh new start. Because every time you think about this energy right here, you become incensed, like upset, you know, wanting to talk about this energy. But no, part of the reason, why, as you you know, like he, you heard the term going out with a bang. Part of the reason why certain people are starting to come back around and resurface in your life, Sagittarius, whether it's um, 
whether it's emotionally resurfaced, resurfaced or physically calling or texting you or whatever, is because it's right there in your face for you to sever ties with them. Don't even try to tiptoe around it. Like, well, maybe that person has changed. They haven't. Or maybe that person, you know, I'm taking the high road. I forgave that person. But you don't want to forget how deep this snake bite went, right? You, that's what you don't want to forget. Because, again, you don't, and you don't want to throw yourself into a cycle. So a karmic cycle. So, again, get outside. Get up under that sunlight. If it's cold outside, you can catch a bus or train or in a car or whatever. But you need to be out in the sun. You need to remove that stale energy so that you can remember. Hold on. That snake bit me deep. That snake wasn't there when somebody in my family died. All they were there is just slithering, just like sneaky slithering, trying to see what information they can just, you know, use against me later on. That 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 snake wasn't there when I went through situations on my job. All they were just sitting there like grinning like a Cheshire cat, pretending like they were, you know, they were, um, you know, um, being compassionate towards me. Like a lot of y'all are in like hindsight seeing everything. How like some of y'all friends couldn't cheer for you when you were going through, you know, like you, you have promotion, you know, they were only there to hear all the bad stuff. They were only there. It just, it was just a mess. Anyway, your hindsight is going to tell you everything you need to see, but somebody is in hermit mode, like really replaying a lot of things over their mind. You don't even, even need to overthink this. Matter of fact, if you got some friends um, and I, this is what I'm seeing. Somebody got some friends or somebody that you know is telling you, don't even entertain that mess. There's no way you should go back to that snake. That person got what they needed from you. Let them keep on going. Let them keep, see, let them keep on slithering out of your life. You don't even need to give it a second thought as to, should I trust this snake again? Maybe I should warm up to a snake. Uh, why would you warm up to a snake? Yeah. I saw this video, speaking of snakes, I saw a video on um, Instagram, um, Sagittarius, but this lady was like trying to feed it. I don't even know what kind of snake it was, but the snake quickly grabbed her arm and wrapped itself around her arm. And if it wasn't for somebody else being in the room, because this snake was bigger, I mean, like literally bigger than her arm, longer and bigger than her arm. And I kept saying, what if that snake has, you know, it was so swift that the snake had just like, if that snake had grabbed her by the neck, it would have been nothing that person could do. Even if the person had shot the snake, like with, with the rest of the body was left out, the snake still would have just been, you know, like coiled around her neck, but it coiled around her arm and was like about to, that snake was about to go in. And if, if nobody had been home, that's what I'm saying. Why would you warm up to a snake? You've been burnt hard enough. I see you walking away from it though. So there is some, like I said, hopefully you just take what resonates with you. If the person, you know, burned you in the past and they burned you deep enough, they weren't there for you when you needed them the most, don't ever turn back. Just leave it alone. Move on. Just move on. Yep, just move on. I see somebody moving on. I, but right now I see somebody like entertaining the thought, like even over, you don't even need to think about it. It's a, it's a, it's a strong no. It's a firm no, 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 no. But again, um, I see somebody like going back through their lives with this energy and, and, um, that long and arduous journey that you've been on and like, like learning lessons. Like, what did I learn about myself in that lesson? Do I over good? Do I over give? Did I do I try this down? Y'all, somebody's starting to understand what I mean about you all being mutable signs and trying to adjust the situation. This person, this energy bit you like a snake. They burned you time and time again. What is it to think about? <laughs> like, seriously, what is it to think about? That's what you learn about yourself. You learn that this person got issues. You're not there to save them. For you to try to for you to try to save them or put yourself in a God like you having a God complex. And you don't have a God complex. That's what you learned about yourself. It's like I'm not dealing with that person again. They always come in with some stuff. Every time I warm up against every time I try to warm up and try to in your mind, because again, you all adapt to situations very easily. You all are smart, you're very caring, you all are deep thinkers, you all are very generous, you love to have fun, you're honest. You have a great sense of humor. If you think that this snake has changed, I don't know who I'm saying this for because maybe I need to say it in lay terms and come out the spirit realm. If you think that this snake has changed, they haven't. They will bite you again and again and again until you get to a place where you don't trust your instincts. Like you won't be able to see, you won't be able to, 
you won't even see anything in front of you, let alone your spiritual, your spiritual gifts. But I do see you beating the drum and getting that negative energy out of your space. Like somebody around you could be telling you, I can't even believe you even thinking about letting that person back into your life. Getting that negative energy out. I see somebody sitting down and meditating, getting, getting their solar plexus chakras in, back in alignment. You could, um, um, getting your solar plexus, just remind, reminding yourself how powerful you really are. Yeah, it took a lot of strength for you as a mutable sign to just, like I said, I, that's why I know that the person did it to you. You didn't do something to them. They just thought, okay, well, let me give it enough time. I'll come back around and see um, see if Sagittarius will let me back in their space. But see, what they weren't counting on is you doing the energy work. That's what they weren't counting on. They weren't counting on you doing the energy work. They may have had some kind of financial ties or something to you. Like maybe you all shared something together where money was involved. The energy of money was involved in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And it is, it, it, the energy of money is not always paper money or coins, right? But something somewhere, the energy of money was involved. Maybe y'all lived together or like shared something. Or, or, I don't know. Um, something together. Um, but if you if you let this person back into your life... You fill in the blanks for real because that person is still a snake. That energy, like I said, the energy, not necessarily the person, it's the energy that they are. This is a you had a Kodalini experience with the person before. Why would you want to go through another one? Right? It's time to meditate and contemplate. Yeah. This Pisces energy right here doesn't necessarily mean that they are a Pisces, just so we're clear. If they're Pisces, then they're Pisces. But this energy, with the energy that I'm picking up on as far as this is concerned, is that y'all are opposites. Like, they're, they're going in one direction, you're going in another direction. And in your mind, because you're a mutable sign, you keep trying to make it make sense. It, it's never going to make sense because they have chosen their lower selves. They've chosen to, like, get over on people. And that's not who you are. That's not who you are. There's nothing to think about. I wouldn't think about that for five seconds. Oh my God, they came across my path. That must mean I need to take that sword out and sever ties. That, mean, that must mean I need to take this blowtorch. That must be the one that, you know, you know. I keep hearing about this person going to try to re-enter my life. I need to take that blowtorch out. You better dust that blowtorch off and, and, and blow that bridge to smithereens. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> just sever ties for good so that you can make room for the things that you deserve. That's what I'm saying. I embrace every day as a new world to be explored. Yes. Yes, indeed. Then we have let the timeless be in charge of time. Yes. Mm -mm. That energy is the same as you remember them. A snake. So let's see what else we have here before we close this out. Family. Yes. Did you see this person like family, like the person, or were they like blood relatives? But I'm saying family, like it's either your blood relative, family, they could be in there too, or the person could have been like family. But that two plus three, 23, two plus three is five. It's a pivotal point in your lives right now. Are you going to go back and throw yourself into a cycle with that energy? Or are you going to sever ties and move forward? That's the question. That is the question for you, um, Sagittarius, but I'm telling you. This person is making it seem like what they did to you is not that deep, but actually it was deep. It was really painful for you. You ever, you Sagittarius, let me take it a step further. Give me some more information about this person's spirit. Give me some more information about this person because this person is like, and I, I know crazy is not a, a, a term, but, and I, I don't call people crazy, but something is seriously wrong with this person. But again, it's generational for them. That's what I'm seeing here in the cards. Give me some more information about this spirit, about this person. Let's see what else we have here. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the King of Swords. And we also have the Ten of Wands, right? This energy is a test. Let me just, this is what I want. I needed to just get some more information from Spirit about this. This is a test. Somebody asked for some more money. Somebody asked for something else. Like you asked for, I'm seeing somebody's asking for some more money. Like, you know, the energy of money. Like um, the energy of money could be asking, put me around a different set of friends that are, 
their frequency is higher, that they're, they are more focused on, they're more business minded. They're going to teach me how to run my business or whatever. It's not always paper money or coins, right? Ultimately, that's going to be the thing. And I do see somebody being booked and busy, but this person, somebody had to come back into your life, Sagittarius, to see if you were really ready to be successful. That's what I'm seeing here. Like somebody's like, I see a lot of duties and responsibilities. You don't have any baggage when it comes to them. You're not bitter. You, yeah, and they, they, you've been enlightened on most. Like in the past, you would have said this person burned me most multiple times. I'm getting as far away from them. You could have gone away bitter, right? Which would have caused you to be impatient with other people, careless, boastful, brutally honest with other people because of what they did to you. But the you today, because where's the card? Because you've been investing in your spiritual growth, is saying no. I'm not bitter. I'm actually better. I'm actually better without you, right? So that's not bitterness. That's like, I'm ready to be booked and busy without you. When I really needed you, you weren't there for me. So no, it, it took me a minute. And I'm telling you, we don't understand how when we're hurt, Sagittarius, how that hurt comes out to other people. So you could have been brutally honest and almost risked some of your friendships over this one relationship right here or whatever relationship, but you see everything crystal clear now. You're wiser, you're more knowledgeable, and again, age does not equate to wisdom. So whatever age you are, it doesn't matter. You see things crystal clear now. You know exactly who the culprit is. That's why they had to be brought to the forefront. Somebody had to come back into your life to give you an opportunity to say, hey, are you going to try to adjust to this again? Somebody may have even said, well, you know, that was a long time ago, and under the circumstances, you know, I can forgive that person. You can forgive a person and still not forget, but I do see somebody winning the challenge and feeling emotionally like they have hit the jackpot emotionally like i did it i severed ties with this person for good i moved on from this person so again kudos to the people around you that's encouraging you to just like stay focused sagittarius because all you should be thinking about your ruling planet is jupiter you should be focusing on expansion the things that bring you joy the things that bring you gratitude the things that bring you honor wisdom and tolerance this energy right here let it keep on slithering away. That's what I have for you. Have a great one. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye, Sagittarius.